This is Jode. Jode is a hanging tree cow dog, and he's my main go-to dog that I use here on the ranch. Use him almost every day. And uh, right here, I'm I'm sending Jode after a, a, a fairly large bunch of cattle. There's about 150 head in this bunch. Um, there's some replacement heifers in there, and some first calf heifers, and then I've got some fall pairs as well. Um, now this is a long ways. This is this is just a little over three quarters of a mile. There's a, a stock dam down here in the corner, and as you can see, they're they're kind of bunched up. And the way I send Jode, I just tell him to hunt them up, and and Jode's pretty good at this. He's had quite a bit of this. You know, he's he's four years old now, and and uh, I use him a lot. But um, now this is actually my hay field, so it's 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 pretty flat, but um, there are spots out there where where you can't see and, and when I send them after a big bunch like this in in a big pasture um, I don't I don't send him out on a big outrun I just tell him to hunt him up and uh, and he gets out there till till he can find him and then he'll do his outrun if, if you seen there just a little bit ago once he got to where you know he was he was around him then he he made it he made his outrun and went around it but when I first sent him I you know I just I just tell him to hunt him up and he just goes in that direction where the cattle are now he's got him he's got him picked up here and he's he's moving him back the the thing that I like most about this dog is um, other than his desire to work uh, Jode would he would he would literally rather work than breathe but um, when he when he gets stuff moving, more than any dog that I have, he he he, he keeps everything real calm. Uh, they move they move real nice. Unless I unless I uh, you know put some excitement in my voice and and have him bring him on, you know, then he'll bring him on just as fast as he wants. But uh, for the most part, if I if I put him back there and 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 as you can see right here, you know, they're moving just as nice as you could ask. And that's you know that's the main thing that we're after out here is we want to do do things as easy and as smooth as we can. Jode really likes to can control stock and keep them in a tight bunch. And he actually probably works works a little bit harder than what he needs to, but um, he's a real strong head dog. Uh, probably more so than any dog that I have. But as you can see here, he, he he'll come around and he'll flank, and he'll he'll keep them moving you know real nice and slow and and without a lot of stress now he this dog won't pick a fight unless you ask him to now after after I send him out here like this uh, all I told him told him was to hunt him up and he went out there and you know bring him back and I, I won't give him another command unless things are getting out of control you know he he should he should get back there and and bring them on to me if it gets to this, a spot where they're holed up or something like that you know I'll I might tell him to bring them on or or get ahead if if one starts breaking off or something like that but 95% of the time I don't have to tell this dog anything other than just you know hunt him up and maybe steady every once in a while and down The fall pairs that are in here um, were really bad to fight. My my cows, uh, we run some commercial and, and registered Angus mama cows, and uh, we've been breeding maternal traits into them for as long as I can remember. And, and they're really gentle cows. I mean, they're not wild or anything. But boy, they would fight a dog, especially when they had calves. You know, fresh baby calves. They would they would come for a hundred yards to fight dogs. And I, I had a lot of dogs over the years, and I always thought that I had to have one that was just going to rip one's head off, you know, to to get them to to do what I wanted, you know, and not not be so dog aggressive. But uh, the more I'm around these dogs, I realize that if you can keep your dogs under control and back, 
and get them dog broke to where they respect the dog and and you can just put a little bit of pressure on them to where they move the way they want to uh, a lot of times if you if your dog's in too close uh, that cow has no option but to to either take off running fast or turn around and fight now if a cow does come at him you know I, I I don't want him to get run over and killed but I want him to hold his ground and and you know go ahead and and tell her that you know he's not she's not gonna run him off but as soon as she turns around and starts going back to the to the bunch you want to call your dog off and you know release the pressure it's it's a lot like it's a lot like colts you know when when they're going the right way you, you release you know all the pressure that you're putting on them so they're going the right way you don't want a dog if a cow's moving the right way that a dog should never ever be biting them Uh, there these these cows are starting to drift just a little bit uh, be to my left and so you can see he's starting to he's starting to get up there a little more and start flanking them back you know kind of more in a direct line to where I'm at now this isn't there's nothing fast about this this is just nice and slow and in a stress-free manner which is what what I'm after One of the really good things about about this dog and I guess the hanging tree cow dog in general that, that I've noticed is uh, is their ability to withstand heat and their endurance. Um, I said before I think Jode here is four years old and, and I work him all the time and I've seen that dog tired one time in four years. He, he, he can do this for weeks at a time and I've 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 never seen a dog that as far as endurance could keep up with this guy.
Well, they're getting close here. Uh, it is a lot of fun when you have a dog that you can send out there and they'll, they'll gather the bunch and bring them back to you. Uh, it saves a lot of time, it saves a lot of trouble and a lot of help. Um, you, b before, I, before I got Joe, uh, you know, it, it took me and, and probably one other person, you know, at, at least a couple hours to get this done. He's been a lot of fun and I've learned a lot, a lot from him. So there we go, I guess we'll go over the hill and head to the corral. Good job, Joe.